So in this problem, we're given the linear charge density of the cylinder, and we're asked to find the surface charge densities uh, of the cylinders over, over here. Um, now, well, let's go ahead and just try using the electric field to calculate uh, the electric field at this particular point. Um, because we know, actually, this particular inner charge is supposed to be net zero, implying that um, the electric field in here is also going to be equal to zero, just based off of Gauss's law and stuff. And so um, let's go ahead and just try to calculate the electric field here, because it's supposed to be net zero. Um, so we'll just say that it's um, 2k lambda over r. That's supposed to be for the cylinder, right? And um, I'll plug that in. So we'll get um, 2k, 2e to the negative 9. Um, and then it's supposed to be... Uh, Coulombs of energy, I suppose, and uh, 0 0.052 meters. Great. So the answer here is actually going to be somewhere around um, 692.31. So E equals 692.31. Um, I think it's a Newton's of a Coulombs here. Great. So that's going to be electric field at this particular point. But... Um, we also know that it's supposed to be zero. We know that the positive charge is on the inside here. And so, obviously, if we want to get this to counter and become um, zero, this has to have a negative charge along the inside here. These are all just negative charges. Okay, negative charges that will cancel out the positive charge on that side. And so on this side, we would have the, um, basically, this is the in, the inner, portion here and then this is kind of the uh this is now the new um on the surface uh well this is on like the shell this is the shell okay but anyway so this is supposed to be negative 692.31 and um that's what we would get on the shell here so keeping that in mind um it's obviously just going to have our negative lambda, right? Because we're just flipping it around, we would get a lambda is equal to negative 2e, negative 9. That just makes sense. That's what that would have to have in order for um, in order for this to just make sense. If we just want to flip the negative sign, we're just flipping that. Okay, so now that we have a negative surface charge, how can we relate that to uh, this? Um, well, uh, okay, so... Remember that this is supposed to be equal to Q over um, Q over A, and A for the cylinder is 2 pi R times L, and this is supposed to be lambda times L. These will cancel, and so you get that uh, this is equal to 2 pi R. Nice. We're going to use that equation to calculate what the uh, this particular, so that E1 is going to be... Um, uh, the magnitude here of the surface density is going to be negative, so let's keep that in mind. Uh, negative, um, negative 2e to negative 9, and then we're going to go 2 pi, and the um, radius is that, 0 0.052. Okay, so here the, 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 the surface charge density is 0 0.2 times e to the negative 9, and this is going to be coulombs over uh, meters squared, okay? So that's nice. We got this thing for the inside portion of this shell, but we also would have to assume, okay, great, so there's a, there's minuses on that side, there's obviously just going to be plus on this side. Once we get up to here, what is the magnitude again here? We'll, we'll calculate the magnitude. It's 2k lambda over r is going to be equal to 2k um, times 2e to the 9, uh, and then this is divided by um, 0 0.104 uh, meters, but the magnitude here is equal to uh, 346.15. Uh, 346.15. So in this particular region, we would have 346.15 uh, newtons over coulombs. Okay, this kind of makes sense. And if we undo this and try to figure out what the um, the linear density is, again, it's just going to be negative 2e to the negative 9. 
okay, because we've, um, we've calculated that before we've done the same operation twice, we should start to understand that we're just flipping the signs around here, which is cool, just because uh, this, this net is supposed to be equal to zero, we're allowed to do that. And if we uh, go ahead and use the same density calculation that we did before, uh, four, uh, and uh, that's basically what we get there. Now keep in mind, this is the positive, so we get 3.06 positive surface density on that one, e to the negative nine. And if we're going all the way out here to um, the third radius, which is the radius of, um, if the third radius was supposed to be um, 0 0.156 meters, this is the third radius from out here. Well, keeping in mind, this is just going to cancel out to zero. So we're just going to use the same lambda from before. And, um, well, if we just do the calculation, we get 2k, and then we get 2e to the negative 9 divided by 0 0.156 meters. And so we should be getting 2 times 9e to the 9 times 2e to the negative 9 divide all that by 0.156 and um, we should get a total of um, 230.8 um, newtons over coulombs at uh, this particular point right here. So those are the values that we were looking for and how we managed to get these numbers just by a little bit of calculation here.